in this new section you will start getting productive with Visio right away in this lesson we will start to create a professional drawing first let us see how the entire process typically starts very often during a design session of some sort you will create the outline of an idea on paper or a whiteboard perhaps and then you will want to create a top class professional diagram out of it and share with your clients or the entire world i have a paper drawn outline of an idea which you will see on the screen now this is the login process for my website you must already be very familiar with how login processes works for example you must be logged into udemy right now and this is the flowchart for the website login process your task is to create a professional flowchart diagram in visio 2016 so let's get started i have fired up visio already and i am on the first page here you want to create a new file so you will only look at the right hand side of the screen the left hand is to open existing files click on the basic flowchart button and in the pop-up that appears select the first option that is the basic flowchart also i will select metric units and click on the create button note you do not have to go through this screen every time you can just double click on the previous screen and that will directly load the defaults from this pop-up and create the drawing okay now we are on the main workspace take another look at my drawing i first want the start shape i locate it on the shapes pane on the left hand side here it is i just need to drag the shape from the pane and pull it over to my drawing now before i drop it in you can see that when i am in the exact center of the page visio shows a green helpful line that allows me to align visually to the center of the page i will use the queue and centralize the shape then next i want a process shape so again i will select from the pane and drop it into my drawing as i drag it into the drawing visio provides three green lines that help me align with my earlier shape and as i get closer there is another visual indicator bidirectional arrow that lets me know the separation between the shapes is optimal these visual cues are only intended to help with the alignment and you can of course drop the shapes anywhere you choose in the diagram now let's take a moment to understand these shapes you can see the rectangular shape is currently selected and so it has four tiny white handles at each edge you can use this to resize the shape as you want and it is very easy to do so there is also a circular arrow at the top that allows you to rotate the shape if you accidentally rotate or reshape at any point of time you can use the undo feature of visio there is the undo icon in the quick access toolbar or you can also use the keyboard shortcut control z on a windows machine okay let me deselect the shape by clicking anywhere in the white space you can see clearly now that the two shapes are not connected as i wanted in my drawing there are easy ways to do this i will now show you how this can be done very conveniently i will first reselect the shape when i mouse over the shape you can see small light blue arrows surrounding the shape and when i mouse over the bottom arrow another small pop up appears with four shapes in it i know the diamond shape is what i want this is a decision process and i will select it immediately a decision shape is created in the diagram now when i deselect the shape you can see this time around the two shapes are connected to each other 
this feature is very convenient and you will find it very handy when creating your diagrams. In another lesson, we will see how easy it is to customize this pop-up also. Now, I will quickly add a couple of more shapes in the same fashion and we will continue our learning adventure in the next lesson.